Hello there. This video will cover the Create Subscription feature. This is the manual method of creating a subscription, the other being the automatic method, which is simply a customer purchasing a subscription option for a product in your store. So if you have a customer who wants you to create a subscription for them, come to the subscription section of your dashboard and in the upper right hand corner, click the gray Create Subscription button. You will be taken to a form page with various customer detail fields divided into several different sections. The first section is Plan Details, where you can define the parameters for the subscription plan you wish to provide your customer. You can choose the plan type, the next order date, the billing frequency, including the option to select days, weeks, months, or years, and the delivery period. Just below that is the Advanced Options section, which you can click on to reveal four additional fields. The plan name and description are self-explanatory. You can fill in these fields as you see fit, or even choose to leave them blank. Minimum number of orders is how many billing cycles a customer has to commit to their subscription before they are able to cancel it or change anything within it. Maximum number of orders is how many billing cycles need to pass before a subscription is automatically cancelled. This would be used if the subscription you are creating is meant to go on for a set period of time, rather than indefinitely. Below is the next section, which is Products. Simply click the Add Products button to be shown a drop-down list of your store's products. Select the product or products this customer wishes to have as a subscription using these checkboxes. Then hit Add in the bottom right when you are done. The third section is Customer Details. If the customer you are looking to make a subscription for already has their information stored within Shopify, click the Search Customers button on the top right and search for the customer's name. Use the buttons to the left of their name and click Add to have the Customer ID and Email ID fields automatically filled out. You can then select one of three statuses you wish for their subscription to be listed as here, Active, paused, and cancelled. Last is the payment method ID, which is by far the most important part of this section. This drop-down menu will show what payment methods are associated with this customer, viewable under the payment methods section of their Shopify profile, which will look like this. For the sake of completeness, here is an example of a profile that does not have the payment methods section. The customer must have a payment method associated with their Shopify customer profile or this dropdown will not be populated. This profile does not exist within Shopify unless the customer is an existing subscriber or their payment method information has been migrated over from a different platform. And finally, there's the shipping details section, which is where you can enter the customer's delivery information. Enter details such as their name, phone number, and their shipping details, address, city, zip code, country code, etc. If you wish to charge your customer for shipping as well, enter the amount in the last field of this section here. Once you are satisfied with the information you have added on this page, click Save in the upper right-hand corner to finalize the subscription. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you and have a nice day.